Yannick Sinner, the men's world number one tennis player, has somehow managed to avoid a doping ban. The Italian twice tested positive for low levels of a metabolite of Clospor, a steroid that can be used to build muscle mass. Provisional suspensions were applied automatically, but as Sinner challenged it successfully, he was able to keep playing. An independent tribunal accepted Sinner's explanation that steroid entered his system from a member of his support team through massages and sports therapy. As a result, Sinner was cleared of fault or negligence, but he will lose the ranking points and prize money from his semi-final run at Indian Wells. Earlier this year, Sinner was provisionally suspended from 4th of April until 5th April, shortly after winning the Miami Open and then just before the Madrid Open between 17th April until 20th April. In a busy period of the ATP calendar during the clay court season, both short-lived provisional suspensions occurred during off weeks. The decision not to sanction Sinner following the positive results has been criticized on social media by a number of players, including Nick Kyrgios, Liam Brody and Denis Shapovalov. Kyrgios called the Yannick Sinner development ridiculous and demanded the world number one to be suspended for two years. Shapovalov also took a dig at Sinner, but he didn't mention Sinner's name in it. While Brody said whether Sinner was doping or not, it's not right because plenty of players go through the same thing and have to wait for months or even years for their innocence to be declared. Meanwhile, Sinner has continued to compete on the ATP Tour as normal in what has been a breakout season, with the Italian winning his first Grand Slam title at the Australian Open and rising to world number one shortly after. Sinner is also the top seed at the US Open.